Alrighty, Kimmy, I'm from Elkhorn. I've got it memorized down to one note card. Look. All right. And it is entitled, A Misguided Path to Happiness. Or alternately, guess what I found at Costco. Right from the front steps, mixed in with the horrid funneling inside, mothers tell their kids, now be really careful not to get lost in here. And the kids walk in ahead, eyes open wide amid the plastic skeletons left over from Halloween that just might be the remains of those long dead who couldn't find their way out of stacks of artificially bright candies and gloved workers offering free samples with a smile. Workers who don't care if you come back three times and only change your hair, who recognize you even when you don't, but it still doesn't matter because there's enough to go around anyway. Like enough bricks of Gatorade to build a, a shining plastic castle and enough Sunny D to eclipse the actual sun. <laughs> As you walk in further, you wonder when in the course of human events it would ever become necessary to purchase a pack of paper towels the size of a couch, let alone put them to use. Unless, of course, you had a five-year-old child who got into the mega-sized bottles of bubble bath in aisle six. There is so much sunscreen that you could fill up the hole in the ozone layer like tar fills in cracks in the pavement. And behind it, real Legos, or edible Legos. It's not like it makes any difference to a three-year-old anyway. <laughs> and over there, jumbo boxes of mega donuts, an entire field's worth of popped corn, and bags of potting soil big enough to have their own gravitational pull. Because in Costco, a 10-layer dip is 15 or 20, maybe layers, maybe pounds, but definitely not dollars. You see tiny things in massive amounts as it's as if an entire hidden kingdom of munchkins in famine is desperate for shipments of individually packaged rations with grape flavoring. And through a forest of paper labels that read as seen on TV, and just in, just in case you haven't, there's a nearby rack of those too, you glimpse a ton of ketchup. Not just a lot. Not just an arse load that would break the backs of a dozen donkeys, but an actual metric ton of just ketchup. <laughs> and if you could get this to your car, I bet you could buy this at Costco. And on your way out, you see self-help books on hoarding in bulk, of course, like everything else. <laughs> and then, once you're down 175 bucks, and you come out blinking in the light of a new day, or maybe the old one, but you can't freaking tell because of all the things that you just bought at Costco.